How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be a anime movie unboxing and this is going to be on some films, uh, four of which are from uh, a just incredible uh, director and a writer by the name of Satoshi Kon who uh, unfortunately uh, uh, he passed away I think at a really young age. Um, like he wasn't that old uh, back in, I believe it was 2010. Um, but his works are still incredible to this day. And a couple of them have recently gotten uh, new uh, Blu-ray releases. Uh, and uh, I figure, you know, I go ahead and show the ones that we do have and talk about some of the ones that we don't. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to go ahead and start out with the DVDs. So it's three DVDs and three Blu-rays. And uh, I'm going to start out with the one that I saw first. And that is Perfect Blue. This, I remember correctly, or if I remember correctly, was on the... I think it played on Stars, if I remember correctly, or the Encore channel. But this played quite a bit, and wow, just an amazing film. This is by Manga uh, Entertainment, and uh, that's just a cool shot there. And uh, yeah, Satoshi Kon's animated psychological thriller. Uh, but there's a lot of other like tones and stuff in there as well. Excuse me, who are you? Which is, I believe that's a line in a movie, if I remember correctly. And here's his spine. And this was just really trippy. Um, so this you follow a uh, idol who's uh, part of a group. There, uh, there she is right there, the main one. And she decides to pursue a career of uh, being a uh, actress. And all these weird things, like you see this guy uh, constantly, like as if he's like following her. And all these weird things start to happen. Like you start seeing things. And, you know, it's trying to figure out, wait, was that real? Was that fake? Um, you know, it's just, it's really, really trippy. And this is the unrated director's cut. Because I believe there's like an edited version out there. Here's the uh, special features. So you do get uh, interviews uh, you, uh, with the director, with the cast. You have the trailer, musical, photo. Uh, behind the scenes performances, bonus audio track, and then manga entertainment previews. So this is the original uh, DVD. And yeah, it still has the uh, sticker on there. Uh, found this at a convention because I've been looking for this for a long time because it is highly out of print. And here it is, that's the disc right there. And, um, but now there is a new release, which I'm really happy uh, to say that it finally got one. And here's like more of the specs, you get the 5.1 uh, audio and some DVD-ROM features. And here you get a really good shot. This is actually the cover they used for the uh, Blu-ray, which I'll get to. Uh, towards the end here. And there you see our main character, uh, Mima. And this is the uh, chapters right there. Yeah, just an incredible, credible film. This took me a while to get <laughs> what was happening because uh, I think I was uh, pretty young at the time uh, when I saw this. But man, really, really awesome. And then there is another one that came out, uh, so I'm trying to do these in order. So you have this one, and then the next one was also a really big uh, film, I think, when it came out, and that was Millennium Actress. And this got really hard to find also. Uh, I did eventually uh, locate it at a couple different uh, like half price books uh, places, and um, they were quite expensive. But luckily, I was able to, you know, be patient and uh, found another one for a really decent price and uh, picked it up. And this one you follow. <clears throat> excuse me. You follow the, uh, this actress and you, you find out that there's, there's something with the past and present. 
and you know uh, as a film director discovers a mysterious key that unlocks the secrets of a legendary actress who vanished at the height of her brilliant career and you pretty much just follow that and like all these different roles that she did and you know you're trying to put the story together and it is just brilliantly made it is incredible you get the making of uh, Millennium Actress get some interviews commentary with Satoshi Kone and he, when you see him in like interviews and stuff it's just fascinating just to hear him uh, you know the way he would uh, speak about the works and everything it was just incredible and uh, uh, yeah so this these are the languages and stuff there <clears throat> And here is the disc. So yeah, just be aware this is highly, highly out of print as far as uh, the DVD goes. But luckily it got a re-release. And this one, um, I remember very fondly when this came out. Uh, I remember seeing some, uh, was it previews? I think trailers for it. And it just looked like a really another deep story and things like that. And here is... Tokyo Godfathers. This follows the tales of three uh, homeless people. So you have this guy right here. You have uh, uh, what appears to be a lady. I uh, believe that's actually a guy. And here you have this girl. And they find this uh, child. And if I remember correctly, they're trying to find who the uh, baby belongs to. And you just follow them. <laughs> I think this is actually supposed to be red. It's kind of faded out. Uh, but uh, yeah, found this for uh, pretty cheap. And uh, another very well done um, uh, story. And you just follow them. And as you follow them, you get to uh, know like their backstories and things like, like that as to why they're in this, the, uh, the state they're in. And this happens around uh, uh, like Christmas uh, time. And uh, yeah, they actually find the baby during Christmas Eve. <laughs> uh, it is really weird. But uh, yeah, and then here is the um, specs here, original Japanese language, making a featurette, and bonus trailers. But uh, also, what's the... Satoshi Kone's uh, works hit the animation done in these like uh, uh, you know perfect blue Millennium Matrix uh, actress and this one uh, Excuse me. They have a very distinct style like you could tell like oh, that's a Satoshi Kone work like you could just you just get that feeling from it and uh, So you get a character uh, illustration uh, Which I was happy to see that it's still in here and here you have the uh young lady character who's one of the three and then when you find out her backstory man it's they're all pretty sad in their own way yeah the way it was done was just cool and here you have like some um some other like dvds like cyborg 009 which finally got a complete series release metropolis uh very happy to have that glad that got a blu-ray release cowboy bebop <clears throat> Excuse me, and I believe this is like an interview, I think with Cone, yeah. Or like an illustration. Oh, it's like an article from Variety. Yeah, Variety Magazine, there you see the three. Very, very awesome film. Tokyo Godfathers. And now we're going to get into the Blu-rays. And uh, so we have uh, uh, one by Shout Factory and one's by G Kids and the other is a, is a Sony Pictures release. Yeah. So first up we have Perfect Blue on Blu-ray. And see, uh, yeah, they kind of use like that scene covers is more tilted. She's tilted the other way so you get the 20th anniversary edition newly remastered first time on blu-ray yeah because as far as i know this was not on uh blu-ray in any form if it was it wasn't in the states and here is uh blu-ray and dvd combo pack and i remember seeing this for pre-order 
and uh, just waiting for it to come out and found it for a really good price on sale and wow it looks really good uh, they, I would say they did a, a pretty good job on the uh, transfer uh, music's uh, great uh, you know visually it just looks stunning here's the uh, story details here and G Kids is actually uh, like they've been re you know re-releasing all the like Studio Ghibli films and or Ghibli uh, however you pronounce it uh, films and stuff and they've done a really good job so you get newly remastered from uh, and original definition feature presentations lectures by director Satoshi Kone Angel of Heart recording sessions and full English version casting crew interviews and things like that and there is a reversible cover uh, the regular outside part is the same and here is the DVD to the left and here's the Blu-ray to the right and those are some really kind of creepy <laughs> pictures especially this one uh, yeah this is a outright kind of weird film it might take you a couple times of seeing it just to figure out what the heck is happening what is real what is not that's a cool scene where she's looking at the uh, I believe her fish tank yeah Right that in there. Okay. And then next up we are going to have Alright, let's get that in there. Millennium Actress. So this is the latest one to get a uh, re-release on uh, Blu-ray. So this one says restored and remastered from a 4K transfer plus interviews with the producers and voice talent. Now I, I don't think Perfect Blue was a 4K transfer. I think it was just like 2K or something. Um, that's just different ways they can transfer them. But uh, yeah, there you see the main actress there in all these different roles that she's been in and just still an incredible film um you know and trying to explain these in a way it's kind of hard <laughs> uh because they're they're just very trippy in their own way but the way the stories are told is just incredible and gorgeous new uh registration it, it really is gorgeous it looks very good here's the story uh details yeah, Chiyoko uh, Fujiwara. That's the lead. The lead actress. Special features. Right there. And here's some screenshots. So yeah, they did a really good job on the transfer of this. It looks very, very good. And there is reversible artwork as well. So here is the DVD. And here is the Blu-ray. Very nice, very nicely put together. And here is, now I believe that's the director, the filmmaker that you're following. And then here is the actress in the back. All these different roles. Very awesome. Okay. And then last up is one that uh, I also saw on, um, I think it was like Stars or Sci-Fi, one of those channels, Paprika. This is another really like trippy <laughs> uh, uh, movie. So this has more like to do with uh, like dreams and stuff like, that, stuff like that. You do get some of that with like Millennium Actress, Perfect Blue, uh, in a way, maybe a little bit in Tokyo Godfathers with the flashbacks, but uh, um, this is another incredible, visually uh, stunning movie. Uh, this you follow this uh, who is a detective, and you know he works with this girl that he meets, and you have this thing with there's like this device that they use. Uh, you get commentary. Uh, making up documentary, uh, the dream CG world, the arts of fantasy. Here's the uh, story details here. Yeah, so they go to in uh, it's called the kaleidoscopic 
Mindscape, or I think that's I think that's what the world is called. And you follow different people, but I mean you do you do see them all together in uh, different ways. And the way it plays out, it's just it's just man, like what is happening? <laughs> but uh, uh, visually, you know, when you piece it together, it can take a little bit. But man, it is very very well done. And this was done by uh, I see Madhouse on there. Yeah, because I want to say they did this. This is awesome. And here is, this is like an older Blu-ray. Sometimes I'll have it like this and then there's a picture right there. And uh, yeah, so you follow like this, uh, I believe it's a detective and this lady and they meet like the scientist who uh, is working on this device um, and you can go to like this different world you know the big thing is with dreams and you start seeing things from people's past and you're like trying to piece it together but it's very well done very well placed and uh, so let's go ahead and display these and now there is another movie or no not a, uh, I believe there's one in the works that he well that he was working on called dreaming machine or just dream machine but unfortunately that is not you know kind of fruition just yet uh it's just you know because unfortunately you know he passed away so will we ever get to see that you know really not sure um it could be a long time before we do there's also a series called paranoia agent which which played on I don't think it was Toonami. I think it was Adult Swim by the time that came out. Or no, I think it was Toonami. But uh, that is a really trippy series. Oh, man. <laughs> you have this uh, like this kid on skates. Uh, I believe he's called The Little Slugger. And it is a really awesome show. I'm currently trying to find it all. Because uh, it's also highly out of print. But now that these two movies have gotten re-releases. Paprika, I think you can still find... Um, um, the others might be a little bit harder because they're, you know, they're only on DVD. Uh, but, uh, but now these two have gotten re-releases. I'm wondering if we might get the show Paranoia Agent back. Uh, because it is really cool. And I'm really hoping to find it, uh, you know, one day. And, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys if I can get a hold of it. <laughs> so, here they are. Looks good together. So these are all the movies that we currently have. Um, he does have some other works that I don't think have gotten releases to the States. Uh, or I think it might have been just stuff that he was working on like Dream Machine and things like that. Um, but uh, Satoshi Kone, you know, you know, unfortunately he passed away at a young age. Uh, but his works still incredible to this day. And uh, I would say check him out if you can. Actually, have you seen any of these? If so, feel free to let me know. And uh, what did you guys think? So with that, like the video if you do. If you do, subscribe if you like. And I'll see you guys next time.